When a state trooper says, uh-oh, it's time to get ready. I have a pursuit. Let's go. Just a few minutes after we finished an interview with veteran state patrolman Thomas Clark, the call came in. A car chase near Perry. In Dallas County, uh, 10 in the Minburn, eastbound on Minburn Road. So Clark hops in and is on his way at speeds up to 130 miles an hour. Get up to about 100, you definitely don't want to take your hands off the wheel. The problem, Perry is more than 40 miles away from State Patrol Post 1 in Des Moines. They still got him at gunpoint, apparently being non, non cooperative. That means Clark has a long way to go for this first emergency. I'm guessing it's going to be over before we get there, but we'll continue. And he's right, by the time he gets to Perry, the chase suspects have crashed their car in a ditch. We've got plenty of help here. Dallas County deputies took them into custody. What do you hit, just that? And Trooper Clark's shift is only an hour old. There's definitely more pursuits now than, than when I first started in law enforcement. Clark started working at the State Patrol in 1994, a time when far more troopers patrolled Iowa highways. It's different now. We're so spread thin with just two of us out in six counties in central Iowa that the reality is we're typically not each other's backup. It's a sheriff's deputy or a local police uh, that's our backup and vice versa. There's a couple of vehicles there stopped, hazards on them. Turn around at 14th and head back, check on it. It's not long before Clark spots a truck stalled on the side of Interstate 8035. I'm a boy, Henry George 497. I think he's just broke down. Well, let's see. No emergency here. All right, take care. And it's back on the road. 10 2, we 10 8. Clark says with so few troopers on the road, motorists are in jeopardy of being ignored if they break down. Just two of us in Central Iowa. It's pretty slim that we'll be the first one to bottom or come upon it. Seven years ago, there was one trooper for every 6,300 drivers on Iowa roads. This year, there was one trooper for every 8,300 drivers. And every year, the problem seems to get worse. All the state highways are, after midnight, are usually uh, not touched by us. It's almost midnight and the police radios are pretty quiet. Time for speed enforcement. I usually need at least 15 over to give a, a ticket, and you can usually do that about all night long. Wouldn't you know it? Y95 traffic. Just five minutes later, Frank Boy Tom 924. A driver speeds by at more than 75 miles an hour. I usually go around the back of the car so they can't see me in the light, so this is an officer safety thing, so I'll come around that way. The danger is real, but tonight the driver is not a threat. How you doing, Trooper Clark? Hey, we've got a license registration and proof of insurance. Prison. I stopped and check your speed a little bit faster as you came around the curve. The only trouble here, hearing the latest excuse for speeding. Clark has heard them all. This is a rental car and I was trying yeah. to do the cruise. He's not used to it? No. Okay. Where are you headed? Uh, up to Ames. 2017. And the process begins. Unfortunately, my computer scanner is not working, so I can't just scan all this information off the driver's license. i got to type it all in, so this is going to take a little bit longer. It takes about 10 minutes to do the paperwork. And keep an eye on him at the same time. Mm -hmm. And traffic. The lucky driver gets a warning, a consolation for being on camera tonight. Just ask him to slow down a bit. Have a safe night. Clark stops several more cars for speeding. He knows he's only making a small dent in a big problem. They can really put the pedal to the metal, and, and it's nothing to get them 90 to over 100 miles an hour. More tickets. A lot of the fatalities are happening on the rural highways, which we, we rarely, after midnight, uh, are seen on just due to the, the lack of manpower. More excuses. You were at 65 zone. I just saw that actually, and that's when I slowed down. Then just about 4 a.m. as Clark was pulling into an IHOP for breakfast, a new emergency. And then they went outside and started shooting. Again, it's going to be 2010 Evergreen. The shooter's a black male white hoodie. A drive-by shooting on the south side of Des Moines. Clark heads out hoping to help out Des Moines police and catch the suspects in their getaway car. It's a white Dodge Charger. Here at the crime scene, bullets shattered a glass apartment door and windows. The shell casings litter the parking lot. The bad guy's car is long gone. And Trooper Clark leaves the investigation to Des Moines police. It's a reminder of the state patrol's limitations. Your effectiveness really isn't there. By the time you get there, the incident, even if you're driving 130 miles an hour, it's a half hour old. But the job doesn't stop. It's almost 5 a.m. and State Trooper Thomas Clark is ready to call it a night. That's a true midnight <laughs> shift. You just don't know how it's going to go. And it won't be long before the midnight shift begins again.